Hi, I'm Rowan Border from the Vision for Robotics Lab, and I'm presenting this paper, Fast Multi-UAV Decentralized Exploration of Forests, on behalf of Luca Bartolomé, Lucas Texera, and Margarita Klee. Unmanned aerial vehicles can be extremely useful for surveying areas that are unsafe or unreachable for humans and ground robots. As these videos show, they are used to map structures with limited accessibility, such as wind turbines or bridges, and for inspecting large-scale agricultural or industrial sites. However, most UAVs, especially commercial platforms, are only capable of manual or semi-autonomous flight. These platforms require human oversight and previous knowledge of the areas being surveyed for planning missions. For example, the video on the right shows an operator signing a series of GPS waypoints, which are followed by the UAV without online replanning. This work aims to overcome these limitations by providing a strategy for fully autonomous aerial navigation. This work focuses on the exploration of forests as they are particularly difficult to navigate. This limits the utility of current UAVs for wildfire prevention or search and rescue operations. These operations require UAVs that can rapidly explore forest environments by efficiently navigating the high density of obstacles and occlusions. Existing approaches, as shown in the video on the right, are only capable of performing missions with slow and inefficient start and stop motions. In contrast, the approach presented in this paper enables fast and safe exploration of forests with a team of UAVs. Using multiple UAVs has several benefits, including faster mission accomplishment and redundancy, which means that a mission can still be accomplished even if an individual platform fails. This work proposes a decentralized coordination strategy for a team of UAVs, where coordination and map assignment is achieved by pairwise wireless communication. This animation illustrates how the presented approach tackles the exploration challenge, in contrast to existing traditional approaches. The blue line shows the path followed by the drone, the black dots denote trees, unknown space is grey, and explored space is white. The field of view of the sensor is shown in light grey. Existing approaches typically prioritise the exploration of large unexplored areas, which in a forest environment often leaves smaller portions of unknown space unexplored. This is problematic, because if many of these small regions are left unexplored, then the UAV has to return to them later. This can result in the whole environment being traversed multiple times. The presented approach tackles this problem by using two different exploration modes. It works as follows. Firstly, the UAV incrementally creates an occupancy map of the environment from depth and odometry information. Frontiers, shown in pink, are extracted from the occupancy map along the boundary between explored and unknown space. These frontiers are classified as either large frontiers, shown in green, which are close to large volumes of unexplored space, or trails, shown in red, which include all of the smaller unexplored volumes. These classified frontiers are used by the mode selector to choose the behavior of the drone. The explorer mode targets the large frontiers and flies more cautiously through unknown space. The collector mode aggressively clears nearby trails at a higher speed as it can primarily fly through explored regions, as shown. Once a target frontier and navigation mode are chosen, the path planner generates a smooth trajectory that is communicated to the low-level controller. This exploration process continues until there are no more frontiers remaining. This system can be extended to a team of UAVs by deploying it on multiple agents. These agents share information on their local map, execution mode, and target poses. The map splitting and coordination is achieved by a pairwise communication. The only constraint is the maximum range at which agents can exchange information. This video shows the system in action, with six UAVs exploring a simulated forest with medium tree density. The light grey boxes, which turn pink when explored, represent trees, while the dark grey areas, which turn white when explored, represent free space. The presented system is shown in the top right, the decentralized racer approach from Zoo et al. is shown in the bottom left, and the centralized approach from Burgard et al. is shown in the bottom right. As we can see, the presented approach completes the mission in less time than the compared approaches, 
which demonstrates the efficiency of the expiration process. The presented approach was tested with up to 10 agents in a series of simulated forests with varying tree densities. The results from these experiments are summarized in the table on the right. We can see that the presented approach demonstrates the best overall performance. It requires the least time to complete an exploration and achieves the highest average velocity for its agents. This demonstrates the value of the hybrid explorer and collector exploration strategy, which keeps the agents moving and avoids slow and inefficient start and stop motions. The effect of different communication ranges on exploration performance was also evaluated. The results demonstrate that the performance of the presented approach, shown in blue, does not degrade significantly when the maximum communication range is lowered, and that it consistently achieves lower mission times than the centralized racer approach from Zhu et al, shown in orange. In conclusion, this paper presents a novel approach for high-speed exploration of clutch environments, such as forest, with a decentralized team of UAVs. Experiments conducted in simulated forest environments demonstrate that the presented approach can achieve faster exploration than existing approaches. The source code for the presented approach and the simulation environment have been released as open source. Future work will focus on deploying the approach in the real world and developing methods for scaling it to larger UAV teams. Thank you for your attention.